You just did a vertical jump training workout, but you are not sore the next day, or the day after, or the day after that. Does that mean that the vertical jump workout was not good and that it did not work? I'm gonna explain that to you in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss another video, and comment jump down below if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. Today's question is from Syndicath. Syndicath says, Nathaniel Morton, I just started yesterday, and he's talking about vertical jump training. The, the reason that I know that is because he commented this on a vertical jump training video. I just started vertical jump training yesterday. I don't feel sore. Is that okay? So many of you might do workouts, vertical jump training workouts, where you do not feel sore the next day. And then sometimes you will do a vertical jump training workout and you will feel sore the next day. So if you don't feel sore from a workout, does that mean that it didn't work? No, it doesn't mean that because there are a variety of things. There's a variety of reasons why you may not feel sore. Number one is, and this doesn't apply to Syndicath because he said that he just started, but if you have done vertical jump training before and you do it regularly, then after a while, your body's going to get used to it and you are not going to get sore anymore from the same workouts. So. If you regularly do vertical jump training, then chances are your body's going to adapt to that and you are not going to get as sore after those workouts. So that could be reason number one why you are not sore. But Syndicath says he just started training, so he did a workout, he did not get sore. So that one doesn't apply to him. So what other reasons would he do a workout and he didn't get sore? Another reason is because vertical jump training workouts tend to focus on explosiveness. They tend to focus on lower reps, some of them are higher reps, but they tend to focus on explosive movements and strength training movements and plyometric movements. They don't really focus on eccentric portions of workouts. The eccentric portion, let's say you're doing a squat, eccentric is when you're going down to the box, then concentric is the way back up. If you did a slow controlled eccentric squat, chances are you would be more sore than if you're just doing normal squats and then exploding up and then exploding up. More explosive movements tend to not leave you as sore. It's the eccentric portion of movements that usually leaves you more sore. And it's the time under tension that leaves you more sore. If I'm doing a bicep workout and I'm really focusing on my biceps and I'm going slow and I'm doing my biceps and I'm going slow, then I would get more sore. But if I'm doing explosive biceps, I wouldn't get that sore, okay? So if you're focusing on eccentric movement, if you're focusing on time under tension, that is when you tend to get more sore. If you're doing explosive movements or you're doing lower reps or you're doing vertical jump training workout, plyometric type of workouts, they tend to not leave you as sore. Doesn't mean that you can't get sore, but they tend to not leave you as sore as different types of workouts. The last reason is because it might not have been a hard enough workout for you. So Syndicath, you said that, I don't know if this was your first time doing vertical jump training at all, or if you just started my vertical jump training program. Now, if this is your first time doing vertical jump training at all, maybe it just wasn't a hard enough workout for you. If you have done vertical jump training in the past, but this is your first time doing one of my videos or one of my programs, maybe the stuff that you've been doing in the past has already primed your body for what my workout is or what my program is, so this isn't enough of a stimulus to get your body sore, okay? Which isn't a bad thing. It doesn't mean that it's, it's not working, it just means that your body is used to that, your body has seen this before, so it looks at it, it's like, oh, we've done this training before, no need to get sore. So soreness, this is what I want you to take away from this. Soreness is not a indicator of growth, okay? It can be, it can be, but you don't have to get sore for it to be a good workout. Imagine if every single workout you ever did for the rest of your life, you always got sore. I kind of personally like being sore, but just because you did not get sore does not mean that you did not get a good workout. What you should focus on is you, you're done with that workout, 
Add five pounds each week or add a couple more reps each week or another set each week. Continue to progressive overload and do more and more and more to stimulate your body for new growth. So ladies and gentlemen, there's my answer. Just because you did not get sore does not mean that it didn't work. All that you need to focus on is continuing to get better and doing more and more and more each time you go into the gym. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel, click the bell if you have not already. Comment, jump down below if you want a free bodyweight vertical jump training program. Leave your questions down below if you want me to answer your questions on a video just like this. And ladies and gentlemen, take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. Your granny lied to you. Your mommy lied to you. Your nana lied to you. Your papa lied to you. Everybody lied. Your teachers lied. Knowledge does nothing for you until you take action on that knowledge and apply it to your life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just steady taking chances and I do this shit a lot. How you expect to score if you afraid to take the shot? I was down for a little man. I took that shit to heart. Now I'm back where I started. Back, back at the start. Just gotta keep your head up.